Hello everybody, Drake here again with another Minecraft tutorial, and today I bring you my currency exchange system. Now recently I featured this kind of build in my Let's Play series on the Unnamed server, and you guys really liked the idea behind it, you really liked the concept, and you wanted me to make it an actual full-blown tutorial, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So for those of you who are unfamiliar to what this system actually does, it is essentially a currency exchange system that will take one type of currency and turn it into another type of currency. So for example, in this tutorial, in this demonstration, I have this system set up to convert one diamond into 20 casino chips. Now that ratio of conversion is obviously variable, it just has to be an even number. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate to you guys just to give you an idea. It's really better if I just show you rather than talk about it. So basically you just come to this bottom chest that says deposit and you will throw in whatever type of currency item that you want to exchange. Now obviously that is customizable, it does not have to be diamonds, that's just what I'm doing for this tutorial. So if I put in one diamond, the system will basically accept that diamond, it will count out what should be exchanged for it, and then it will give your pickup information up here. So I have a set to give me back 20 casino chips, so that's what it will give me in exchange for one diamond. Now I also have this set up so that it has indicators lights if you've received payment so if a diamond actually goes through the system then you as the owner will be aware that it has actually gone through the system and then your payment is ready to be picked up now like I said this is completely customizable you can set the currency to whatever you want it to be you can set you know the payment to whatever you want it to be just know that it has to be an even number and we'll get into that a little bit later with the tutorial so to demonstrate it I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this chest and just to show you guys there's nothing up here in this pickup chest just to show you that it works so if you drop off one diamond in this chest here the system will accept it, and it will only accept diamonds because that's what I have it set as. As you can see, these lights up here have turned off, and then when they turn back on, you'll know that the entire exchange is done. So now that they're back on, I can go and open up this chest, and there is my 20 casino chips. So before we get building this, I would like to point out a couple quick things. If this system is going to be facing either north or south, or east or west, then the redstone will change slightly. And the reason for that is because I'm using my own personal design of a T flip flop that I built quite a while back. And for some reason in Minecraft, the direction that this faces matters. I do not know why, it just does. So if you're going to be facing this system either east or or west, then you're going to want to use the first design that I'm going to present to you momentarily. Um, if it's going to be facing north or south, then you're going to want to use the second design that I'll be showing you after the first design. Now the redstone between these two is almost identical, the only difference is the piston has to face a different direction, so it slightly changes towards the end. Okay, so you're going to need the following materials to begin building this system. Now obviously there's a little bit of wiggle room because these designs are different depending on if they're facing north or south or east or west, but they're fairly the same, so I'm just going to give the count on the one that is facing east and west west. I do believe it is a little bit more expensive than the one that faces north and south, so if you have these materials, you should have no problem at all covering the one that faces the other direction. So you're going to need 30 building blocks of any kind. It can be any kind of block in Minecraft. You just need it to basically um, use for the design, put redstone dust on, redstone torches, etc, etc. You're also going to need 9 pieces of redstone dust, 8 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone comparators, 5 redstone torches, 5 hoppers, 1 sticky piston, 1 regular piston, either a piece of gravel or a piece of sand, four redstone lamps, four regular chests, and then you're also going to need a bunch of filler items. Now, the amount of filler items that you actually need will vary depending on what kind of exchange system you're going to work with. You need as a base minimum at least 21 filler items just for the item sorter, and then obviously you'll need some up above whenever we go to actually put in this system, and I'll touch base with that a little bit more when we actually start building. It's worth pointing out too, the items do not have to be named. I just have here a stack of gray wool that I renamed to filler, but it should be pointed out that you don't have to name them, although I would recommend it that way nobody can actually put in other kinds of currency in your system. Okay, so to begin building this, just first find out where you want your deposit chest to go, and that is the bottom chest here that you actually deposit your currency in. So I'm going to go ahead and place mine here. And then once you have it in place, you just want to place three blocks coming off of it just like this. So it should be three blocks horizontal in the front, and then one block in the front like that, with two redstone lamps on either side. Okay, next you want to build up the sides of that design, so right beside this chest you want to come up a total of three blocks, and then you want to put a redstone lamp on top, and then do the same exact thing on the other side, so three blocks, redstone lamp on top. Okay, next come right above that chest that we placed, and you want to place a stair of any kind. It can be a stair or a half slab, it really doesn't matter. It's just to kind of cover up the redstone in the background, and it cannot be a full block. Now on top of that stair you want to place another chest, and then above that chest you want to place another stair just like that. Okay, next come to the front of the system where you place those redstone lamps at. You want to place one block below them, just like this. I'm going to place a block here with a piece of redstone dust in between those two blocks. Then if you come around the right side, you want to place a comparator going into that block, just like this, with a chest right behind that comparator. So it should look like this from the right side of the design. 
Okay, now you want to come around the back side of the design, right below this original chest that we placed, and you want to place one hopper facing into that block. It doesn't really matter which way it's facing, it's just easier to put it that way. Just make sure it is not facing straight downward. And then right underneath that hopper, going into this chest we just placed with that comparator, you want to place a hopper underneath this one facing into that chest. Okay, next you want to come two blocks away from those hoppers just like this. You want to dig it down a couple blocks here, place the blocks just in this order, so two blocks, drop down one diagonally, another block space open here with one block in front, and then another block right down below here diagonal to this hopper, you want to place a redstone torch. Now coming off of this top hopper on this block, you want to place a redstone comparator, two pieces of redstone dust, and then a repeater running down below from that block with the redstone dust into the block with the redstone torch that is underneath that hopper. So the design should look like this. Okay, now coming off of that redstone dust that we just placed, you want to dig two blocks back, place a repeater coming straight off of it with a block in front, a redstone torch on top, a block on top of that redstone torch, redstone torch on top, and then another block on top of that redstone torch. So it should make a torch tower just like this. Okay, now to the right side of that torch tower that you just placed, you want to place one block just right next to that redstone torch, just diagonal to that top block. You want to place a redstone repeater facing to the right of that. Place a regular piston facing directly upward. A piece of gravel or sand on top of that. And then place your sticky piston right on the side of that gravel facing directly towards you. So it should look just like this. And then place a redstone block in front of that um, sticky piston. Okay, now right to the left of that redstone block that you just placed, you want to place two hoppers just like this facing into each other next. So the first hopper should be right in line with this redstone block, and then the other hopper should be right on the um, other side of that. So if this redstone block were to get pushed over, it would lock this hopper. In this original um, form it's in right now, it will lock this hopper. Okay, now coming off of those hoppers here on the left side, you want to place two blocks coming off just like this. Place your two redstone comparators facing away from those hoppers. Place two more blocks, and then place two redstone repeaters right in front of those comparators. So it should look like this if you're looking at the design from the left. Okay, now in front of those two redstone repeaters that we just placed, you want to place two more blocks. And then on this right one here, you want to place a redstone torch with a block on top. And then you want to place blocks going around in a ring, just like this, and lining up with these redstone lamps. So you want to place one block on top, one block beside, and then it should make this horseshoe shape going around. Now on this block right here above this redstone torch, you want to take your pieces of redstone dust and just run them all the way across like this, and then place a repeater facing into the redstone lamp, and a repeater facing into that redstone lamp. Okay, now in that groove between those two redstone repeaters, you just want to place a hopper, and if you'd like to, you can also place a chest on top of there, because that's basically going to be the storage for whatever item that you are exchanging for. So, you kind of want some inventory space here, but that is completely optional. Alright, now the last thing that you have to do is just come around this other side, so where this comparator and this um, redstone repeater are at that we haven't worked with yet, you want to place a redstone torch on the side of that block, facing towards this redstone tower. You want to place two blocks going into that original block, a piece of redstone dust, and then a repeater going into this block, which will activate that piston with the gravel. So it should look like that. Okay, now the last and final thing you have to do is actually put in what item you want to be exchanged, and then your filler items. And I'm going to kind of walk through this a little bit, just because um, a lot of people could get confused on this. So, basically you want to come to the very first hopper that we placed underneath this original chest, and you want to open up the hopper. Now in the first slot here, you want to put whatever item you want to use as your exchange. So, if you would like to trade, say as I'm doing, a diamond for um, gold nuggets I've renamed to casino chips, then in this very first slot, you want to place whatever item that you want to be exchanged, in this case a diamond. Now in those, all those other four slots, you want to fill with 21 filler items. And it doesn't matter what these items are, they don't have to be named, I just have grey wool that I've renamed a filler just for the sake of the tutorial. So you just want to take 21 of those items and spread it out between those four slots just like this. So it should have your currency item, 5 filler, 5 filler, 5 filler, and then 6 filler. Okay, now the very last thing you have to do is decide what you want the exchange rate to be, and also to put in your currency of exchange up here in this top chest. So, since I'm going to be doing casino chips, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in here. You will notice that they're not going anywhere, so you might want to toss some in this hopper down here below instead of the chest. The chest will drain the items in, but only when the system's active, and it's just for additional storage. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw them inside this hopper. You'll notice they're not going anywhere because that hopper is currently being locked by this red stone dust. So since you have those items in, the last thing you need to do is put in your remaining filler items, and this directly impacts your exchange rate. So basically what you want to do is you want to put in half of whatever the exchange rate is going to be. So 
if I take one diamond and I put it in the system, I want to get back 20 casino chips. So to do that, I want to come to this first hopper that we placed right next to the sticky piston with the redstone block. And you want to put in, since I want to get 20 out, I want to put in 10 filler items. So you basically want to put in half of whatever you want the exchange rate to be. And you'll notice the system's resetting right now. You don't have to worry about that. It'll eventually get back to its normal standards. So as you can see right now, it's back to 10 items, which is exactly what I want. So if I put in a diamond, I would get back 20 casino chips. If I put this number up to 15 filler items, say for example, I would get back 30 casino chips. If I put this into 20, I would get back 40 casino chips. And you guys kind of get where I'm going with this. So whatever you put in this hopper, you're going to get back double for the exchange rate. Okay, so now let's go ahead and give this a whirl just to make sure that it works. Now it's worth mentioning the first diamond that you put in will not set off these redstone lamps. And the reason for that being is because this bottom hopper here has to have at least one item inside it of the currency before it actually starts running. So you're not going to lose the item. The item is still going to be in that hopper. You just have to have one in there for the items to start passing through that bottom chest. So now I have one more of the exchange item I can go ahead and try this out so I will put in one diamond if I don't break the chest that is so let me go to chest real quick I will put in one diamond the system will begin working you'll see these lights have turned on indicating that I now have currency down in this bottom chest that I have located down here there's the diamond I put in and then once these lights turn back on the exchange is complete and I can get my items out so as soon as they turn back on here I will be good to go as you can see, there's my 40 casino chips, because if you guys remember, previously in the video, I set this to a total of 20 filler items instead of the 10, so the exchange rate was now set to 1 diamond for 40 casino chips. Okay, so now it's time to demonstrate the model that faces north and south. Now, this model is almost identical to this version over here. It's just slightly different, as I mentioned before, because of the T flip-flop. So, basically, you should have followed the instructions up until this point. Your torch tower, everything else is all completely identical, but this here around this uh, hopper and this top portion it's all gonna change so basically right next to this you're gonna do the same exact thing so come to the right of this redstone torch place a block place your redstone repeater place your regular piston facing directly upward with your sand or gravel on top it really doesn't matter now the only difference here is instead of putting the piston facing off the gravel this way you're going to put it facing this direction right on the other side of that gravel and then you can go ahead and continue the rest of the design so right in front of this you'll put a block of redstone and then instead of the hoppers being, you know, over here, they're now going to be located here. So you're going to put your two hoppers facing into each other just like this. You're going to place your two blocks coming off with your redstone comparators. Two more blocks in front with your redstone repeaters. Two blocks in front of those redstone repeaters. And then here you're going to do the same exact thing, it's just slightly different. So redstone torch on the side, block on top. And then this version you actually just wrap around the hopper like this. Place your redstone dust like this with your two redstone repeaters going into your lamp. And then on the other side of this block with the uh, repeater and the other comparator, you just want to place a redstone torch, two blocks coming out like that block, just like this, piece of redstone dust, and then your redstone repeater. Now from this point on, you would do exactly what we did for the other system, so just go ahead and put in all of your filler items, your currency exchange items, um, set the system to whatever you want it to exchange, and that's exactly the same. Um, like I said, it's very, very similar, it's just slightly different location of materials, so really you should just follow the tutorial up until that point, and then if you're facing this north or south, just make the slight adjustments that you have to. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for this entire tutorial, I hope that you enjoyed. If you liked the video, please do me a solid and drop me a like down below, favorite and share it with your friends, drop me me comments, send me personal messages, most definitely if you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of tutorials, I also do tons of let's plays, so if you guys are interested in that, um, you know, absolutely go visit my channel, but fair warning in advance, it does have mature content, so I'm just throwing that warning out there now, uh, follow me on Facebook, everything else, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this helps you out, and I will see you next time.